Hello everybody, um, basically what I have for you today and throughout this series is a series of time lapse videos of me building the USS Enterprise D, um, which is a galaxy class starship in Star Trek. Um, basically how I started out was I took this 3D model here, this 3DS file, and I then put that into a program called uh, Wings 3D, as you can see here. Um, I'll just open up the file, uh, import. Okay. There we are. We've imported it from that 3DS file, which I just downloaded from here. Um, you don't need these textures. Um, that's not important. So to do that, you just do um file import, and then 3D Studio file. Um, so we can zoom out, and you can see the ship. Um, if you press um, the little mouse button, you can rotate. Um, oh. It's actually kind of annoying, really, to be able to see stuff. Now, one of the problems that I'm currently having is that I can't actually figure out what the hell the front bit looks like. And if I'm being honest, the front bit that I've made looks completely different from what they've got here, so that's brilliant. Um, but yeah, it's a fully done 3D model of the entire ship. Now, um, I think there is possibly a way to see how big it is. Area and volume? Mm, maybe not. But basic. Oh shit, what's going on? Oh, there we go. Um, what? Oh well, whatever. I don't, I don't need to worry about that stuff. So basically, to get this this to actually work, you need to export it as uh oh sorry export as a dot object file, i.e. a wave front file. Um, when you export that, you can then import it using a tool called SM Edit, which is just a little tool for um StarMade, which you just drop into the directory where StarMade is installed. And if I can find it, there we go. So this is what SM Edit looks like when you open it up. Um, that's just the sample ship with the um, like default ship that's installed in StarMade. So you can you can zoom in and like paint stuff, and then save it you want. Um, obviously we're not doing that. We're importing a binvox file. And the way to get that is there's this little tool. I'm not entirely sure where I got it, but if you go into the SM Edit actual page for it, um, when you're downloading it, it tells you that you can import it using a binvox file. And there's a link there to the, to the tool. So I'm not going to show you how to do that but it's kind of explained on the actual website itself. So I'll just import the binvox file. Okay. There you go, you can see the, the ship. 
slightly laggy when you're trying to move around. But basically it's been voxelized. Now it's put a ship core here which is just on the front of the um, engineering hull. Probably not the most amazing place to put it, but oh well. Um, now this editor is a pain in the arse to use because of the fact that it doesn't have any kind of way to tell which way round it is, which can be a bit confusing. Now I think that's me looking at the front, I think. Pretty sure it is. Oh no, no, that's the back. That's the front. As you can see, it's very, very difficult to figure out which way you're looking at it. So, in order to import this, this model is about 1 to 3 scale. Which means that in order to get to the right size, we're going to need to scale up about 3 times. So if we select the whole model, by doing edit select all we can then do modify scale and then change these to three so you're scaling up by three times in every direction click OK it's going to scale it up for you takes a little while and there you go you can see it's three times bigger now so we can just do edit select none I'll deselect everything. Uh, we can select all again. There we go, and then we can smoothen it. Smoothen, smooth it. And what that's going to do is it's just going to, on every kind of corner, um, it's going to put a wedge block. So we don't have to manually go around and put wedges on it, which is a bit of a pain, really. Now that takes a little while. So in the meantime, I'm just going to launch up StarMade so I can actually show you what I've done so far. Um, obviously, this series is not starting from the very very beginning because that would be a very very long time so I've already been working on it for about 8 hours now smooth is still running I'll just get to a position where you can actually see it. I think that would be useful. Oh. <laughs> it would help if I get in the ship. Okay, so it's finished smoothing now. So we can now tab back out of StarMid and we can save as a blueprint. And you can just call this whatever you want. It takes a little while to save. And then it goes away. And that's all you need to do in SM Edit. That's that's it. So then you then have a blueprint file which you can then import into StarMade. Um here it is. Running. I think that's kind of right. So at the moment we're just inside the uh, well, looks like the top of the engineering hull. So I'll just go into build mode and fly away. Obviously, you can see the front of my ship is not quite right. Uh, that bit there. I was trying to do the flood tradition in the right way, but it's actually extremely hard to make it. So we're just going to wait on this this loading again, and I'll continue recording when it's actually uh, loaded. 
so there we go we've finished finished rendering it in so it's a grand total of just well just over two million two million blocks and that's just the hull um, it kind of lags my PC quite a bit <laughs> as you can see it is basically exactly how it should look now I've done a quite a bit of work on this already in terms of making it look more symmetrical than it was because before it wasn't wasn't very symmetrical at all really now Obviously, the front of this bit here isn't totally right, um, but basically, I just reworked that so it was actually feasible to do. Um, at the moment, what I can do is I can actually take this bit here and just move it out a bit, and the same with the bit kind of there, make it look a little bit more realistic. But it's certainly a lot better than it started out. Obviously, it's got all these parts on the bottom, which are meant to have bits on them. <laughs> so we just fly inside the ship. You can see it's pretty big inside. Um, this is just the hull, and it's two million blocks. So. I try to think just how many blocks there is going to be in the actual finished product. Um, it's just going to be crazy. But yeah. So I think that concludes our tour for the moment. And I'll get back to building it. And I'll give you some time lapse videos of it being made. <laughs> So see you for now.